So let's go. Yes, that's me. You see me twice. You see me more than twice. Let's go. Let's do this. Gabriele Enrique. Bam. By the way, I don't know this song. Yesterday, everybody, you gotta check that. Stand up. You gotta check stand up right now. Here we go. We are here. If my face run to the sun Weight on my shoulder A bullet in my gun Oh, I got eyes in the back of my head Yeah, just in case Wow, the voice of Gabriel, it's impressive because Okay, I don't know a ton of crooner from Brazil. Um, yeah, I don't. Actually, we have done a, a thousand videos or more on Brazilian artists. There are many like crooners, like big voice crooners of this type. Not many. Not actually. Now, on top of my head, you know, of course, you think of Tim Maia, the first example of great voice. Uh, but I want to say also right now that I know of. Eh? I know that in Sartanesia there are uh, very great voices. Actually, we, we, we heard a few on the channel um, with those very high, bright voices, more in the sort of Sartanesia, reggaeton sphere, you know. But wow, I mean, you hear you, you hear him going high so easily and the voice stays so bright. High and bright. I do what I can when I can when I can for my people. This is like a little bit like uh, the weekend has also this kind of you know high voice that way. But I think, yeah, I don't know. I I, I think probably his voice is also bigger, you know, thicker in terms of sound compared to the weekend. While the clothes were a back and the stars feel the night That's when I gonna stand up Take my people with me Together we are going To a brand new home For I cross the river Can you hit freedom calling Calling me to So gonna keep on keeping on Wow, it's really nice. He goes, there's a lot of range here going from this high and then all the way down in my bone, you know, that he goes really. And of course, for singers which they are tenor and they have high voices, it's not that easy to go down. So he's going also quite low here, actually. Yeah. Here we go. First set, though. Before the sun begins to shine We're gonna start a movie Oh, wow, that run from like... Sounded like chest voice, but I'm not so sure. I really actually don't know if it's uh, he's good at, you know, this part of, of head voice that sounds like as if it's chest voice. And then straight into Forsetto with that run. Poo. Jesus, man. I'm ready for the water. Nice for set. You know, I gotta make up my And I don't mind if I lose any blood on the way to salvation. And I'll fight if it's strength that I got unto I die. So I can understand up. Take my people with me Together we are going To a brand new home For I cross the river And you hit freedom calling Calling me to answer Gonna keep on keeping on oh, Amazing, Gabriel is really an amazing singer, really Every time I... I the more songs I hear, 
the Morrisons is super legit, like an incredibly talented guy. I mean, to perform a cover like this on the spot that sounds like this good, wow, like really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, are you freaking kidding me? Like he went from falsetto to whistle tone, like this is crazy. This is crazy, sounds like Mariah Carey. Oh my god, actually I want to hear back to back because it might be actually Mariah Carey is even higher. But maybe not, which uh, makes it even more scary that a guy can do this. Wow, this is so unique. Again, there are really few people that I know though, on the channel that can do this. Of course, Dimash comes to mind immediately. But Dimash is really like, in terms of male singer, like the freak, uh, the, the biggest freak of nature, you know, with the, with the talent and skills and versatility that it's just unheard of anywhere. But here, wow you got this guy is there like this guy is there like in this realm you know people like dimash which is freaking fantastic you know one from kazakhstan another one from brazil impressive That was a beautiful belt like that. So sustained, so long. Wow. I, I'm really, honestly, I understand why you wanted me to uh, review this song. Of course, there are, I don't know if he's embellishing it because of course, when you have this ability of being a soulful singer with those riffs and runs, uh, which are typical or R&B, you know, and you, you get away with it, of course, you can reach and embellish a song, which maybe the things are not there, those things. But uh, wow, that belt, man, I'm honestly a little bit speechless. <laughs> Do you realize he did three jumps here? Like, uh, that's freaking nuts. With that ease, he just jumped three times. I gotta talk to this guy. I gotta talk to this guy. I gotta, I gotta ask some tips again. You know, like you gotta. Of course, I, I'm pretty sure like uh, ninety percent is just you know you. It's your voice. You have this ability. You know, it's not something. The exercise, and uh, you know, you, you, any vocal coach can call me out on this. But exercise, of course, is going to improve your voice. It's going to improve your voice to a degree, but it's not, I believe, it's not going to give you a couple of octaves if you don't have them. And of course, you can gain some notes. You can learn transitioning in between uh, styles, you know, like a mixed voice, head voice, falsetto, chest voice, and the belting and all of that. But you can improve your runs and, you know, all those riffs and whatnot. But you just cannot invent your voice, you know, from scratch. That's just what you have. Some people are blessed that they have like, you know, tenor range or higher even in this case. And uh, exercise, of course, is just going to make it better. So I would love to talk to him to see what kind of exercise does 
also every day, you know, to improve the voice. But again, like some people are just so incredibly talented by nature that, you know, that's how it is. That's it. Congratulations for this cover, Gabriel Enrique. That's uh, freaking spectacular. He looks angry. Relax. You did a good job. You did a great job. You have reasons to smile. But maybe the song is uh, pretty serious. That's why, you know, maybe there is a little bit of acting involved of trying to have this stern kind of look, you know, to sort of get into the character of the song. Uh, yeah, I mean... You know, in life, there are two types of people uh, in terms of singing, in my opinion. There are those which they interpret the songs of other people and they're great and those which they make their own music. So sometimes some people are good at both. But, you know, in this case, uh, there are many great singers, which a lot of time they just um, including Frank Sinatra, if you think about it, I think Frank Sinatra of his own wrote uh, a few songs the rest were all written for him of course with this supervision it's not like okay i'm gonna sing this if he didn't like it but those type of stars that uh, people writing for them and they chose actually i know of a, of a guy here that uh, he used to work in new york in, i think in the 80s making uh, album covers so he was a graphic artist um and um yeah, he told me some backstories of, you know, when he chose. I actually have to ask him because he was in the studio there and uh, th this tape came along and whatever. I have to ask this anecdote again that um, of, of uh, how Frank chose one of his songs, you know, that this person wrote. I have to ask Renz. I have to ask Renz. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts. Eh? If you want to see more uh, Gabriel Enrique, go check also the reaction of yesterday. Go check uh, my covers as well. You know, I have my own voice. Also link on Spotify if you want to. And uh, yeah, you can subscribe to him. You can subscribe to me. You help both, actually. Eh? How about that? Guys, ciao.